here is uh, a lecture on calculations part one on optics so we want us to do some few examples here which will help us understand concepts in optics and that is uh, very important as far as uh, physics studies are concerned question one during ultrasonic imaging ultrasound is incident at an angle of 10 degrees in soft tissue onto a plain soft tissue bone boundary if the angle of refraction in the bone is 27.4 degrees calculate the speed of ultrasound in bone given that it is 1.54 kilometers per second in soft tissue so that basically takes us to us trying to find the speed in the bone so basically we are given uh, the incident angle or angle of incidence as 10 degrees uh, angle of refraction as 27.4 degrees so velocity in the uh, the soft tissue is 1.54 kilometers per second uh, we are interested in velocity in the bone which is basically our VB okay so we are we want to use the concept of refractive index to to solve this so basically we are talking about uh, refractive index given by sine of angle of incidence over sine of angle of refraction which of course is equal to the velocity in the uh, first medium over the velocity of the second medium uh, thinking that this theta i is in the first medium so this actually can be uh, rearranged to give us the expression for vb so vb basically is equal to vs sine theta r over sine theta i and all these values we have so that simply means we are going to uh, um, uh, to key in 1.54 sine 27.4 over sine 10 so this will give us 4.0813 kilometers per second and we can express this in meters per second by just trying to multiply this by 10 raised to power 3 but then we have meters per second so that is how we solve for that uh, with respect to the concept of refraction now question 2 determine the value of h prime this one here and r uh, this one here in the diagram so this is basically you're talking about a mirror uh, this is an object then the image of that object is formed here and this is more of principles of optics and uh, uh, geometry thereof combined to give us a geometrical optics now uh, we want to solve this quickly I want to begin by finding R then we go to the cheaper one finding H prime so let me begin with this one so we have R being calculated here but we have to really remember how R is related to F so that we can use this general uh, mirror formula uh, which is here we are given S to be 10 it's here and we have s prime to be 300 centimeters from 3.0 meters this is what we have as what we have as uh, image distance and this one is actually r uh, radius of curvature and s here is basically ob object distance so these are things which we need to understand even as we proceed so we know that f is actually equal to r over 2 from r is equal to 2f these are also relations which are found in optics very common as far as uh, the optics concept are concerned now we want to uh, to have this formula 1 over s which we had given you that s is basically object distance plus 1 over image distance is equal to 1 over f this is common and uh, now that we know what f is in terms of r we can equate this to 2 over r okay remember we had f as r over 2 so 1 over f is actually 2 over r that's simple so this actually uh, implies that we have 1 over 10 plus 1 over 300 equals to 2 over r so if you have it as 2 over r our interest is to find r 
so of course what we have here simply find this and then uh, have 2 divided by the result from there so this is actually 31 over 300 is equal to 2 over r so r is basically uh, 2 times this which is 600 over the 31 and it gives it, it gives us 19.355 or you can put to one decimal place 19.4 centimeters what about h we are going to use the concept of magnification so h prime which is the image height yeah over h which is the object height is actually equivalent to s prime which is the uh, image distance over uh, the object distance so we want to use the rel relation to find h prime so this implies that h prime is actually h times s prime over s and we just insert these uh, values so that we have h as uh, 0 0.5 centimeters from uh, uh, 5.0 millimeters we want to use the same units so that we don't get into conflict with units so we have here 0 0.5 times 300 over 10 giving us 15 centimeters so that's h for us uh, question 3 a converging lens of focal length 30 centimeters is placed in contact with a diverging lens of focal length 20 centimeters calculate the focal length of the combination normally when in dealing with optics we have systems that have several lenses combined together to solve some problems uh, related to lenses or image formation and so on and so forth so we need to understand what we are getting from this combination so for this case if you have a converging lens put together with a diverging lens then which kind of lens are we ending up with and what is the uh, value of f so this is uh, what we have so let's call uh, the focal length for the converging lens as FC and remember because it's converging from sign convention we have positive 30 centimeters and that for diverging is negative 20 because of uh, sign convention so what about now the F combine yes so let's let's say FCOM for that combination what is it there is a relation that is common in optics that will help us get this combination and that relation simply says this 1 over f combined is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the focal lengths of the lenses in question so we have 1 over fc plus 1 over fd just that so 1 over f com is equal to 1 over 30 plus 1 over negative 20 don't forget to carry on with the signs so that we end up with the correct uh, conclusion of that combination so this uh, from simple mathematics we end up with this okay 2 minus 3 over 60 which is just minus 1 over 60 and remember we are talking about 1 over f so therefore f combined is simply negative 60 to mean that we have an equivalent lens which is a diverging lens okay of focal length 60 question 4 a double lens of radius of curvature 15 centimeters has a refractive index of 1.5 that is the property of the, the material used to make the lens determine the focal length when the lens is in a fluid of refractive index 1.3 okay so this is a lens in some system and the environment is a fluid of refractive index 1.3 how do we find it so uh, the question was to determine the focal length when the lens is in a fluid so in other words that environment will affect the value of f 1 over f is given by this is a lens formula and it can be derived and that is not covered in these uh, calculations but you can look at other lectures where we derive this formula and others so we are saying 1 over f is equal to nl that is the refractive index of the lens material over the refractive index of the fluid that is environment sometimes here we can have fluid we can have air we can have any other material uh, or, or environment here minus one okay multiplied by the sum of radius of curvature one over r1 plus one over r2 
Okay. And now that we are talking about a double lens, that simply means this R, this R1 and R2 actually takes the value 15. Okay? Because they are equal. So we have 1 over F is equal to, in bracket, 1.5 was for the lens, over 1.3 for the environment or the fluid, minus 1, close that bracket, multiplied by 1 over 15 plus 1 over 15. So this is actually 2 over 13 from this other part, times 2 over 15 from this other part, giving us 4 over 195. But remember, we want f, not 1 over f. So f is basically 195 over 4, which is 48.75 centimeters. This is the value of f when the lens is in the fluid. Question 5. The figure below is a phenomenon of refraction and reflection. Determine theta r, that is this one, and theta b that is the angle after refraction and the angle theta r is after reflection now from simple rules we know that we for re laws of reflection uh, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection so it is easier to find theta r just by taking the value of theta a so we say theta a is equal to theta r equal to 60 from the laws of reflection period while when we're now talking about theta b we have to bring in the law uh, Snell's law that is governing refraction sine theta a over sine theta b is equal to refractive index of the medium b over that of a so that simply means that if you're talking about theta b then it must be the arc sine or sine inverse of n uh, N A sine theta A over N B. Okay, allow me call them N for now, and that's basically may not be the name, but I know you understand because I'm pointing what I speak. Thank you. Now this actually equals to sine inverse of 1.33 sine 60 over 1.52. That evidently gives us sine inverse of 0 0.757722 and so on. And that actually estimates this value to be 49.3 degrees. That is the end of part one. And uh, more is to come. Therefore, subscribe to get these more examples for practices. You will be better in optics. Thank you.